Well, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a dynamic duo pair of locomotives. This is the Walters Proto EMD E9A and E8BM Baltimore and Ohio locomotive pair. MSRP 569.98, and you can get discounts out there from your brick and mortar hobby shops and online retailers. Already kind of tested these, but we're going to do a product demo on these and see what you get starting right now. We'll take a look at some detail starting off with the nose LED headlight in the nose here you've got cab figures installed probably a little hard to see you've got windshield wipers separately applied grab irons on the nose Walther's Proto Max couplers on the front you've got a coupler cut lever you've got the nose door which is nicely detailed and um, you've got classification lights and number boards you've got the horn here. You've got a lot of roof detail including vents. You've got the metal grating along the side which is etched metal. It's not waving. It's not popping out or anything. You've got the windows along the side. Baltimore and Ohio is nice and done. You've got the fuel tank detail including the emergency shutoff. You've got nice truck detail. A little hard to see in the black but we'll try to show you on the actual layout. On the rear you have, on the rear you have lift lugs, the diaphragm, it's kind of sprung. You've got lift rings on the roof detail also. Got winterization hats is up top here it looks like so that's the uh, a unit keep in mind that the product demos go a little faster don't spend as much time researching what's going on that also helps me get caught back up after the vacation the B unit here you've got more of the same detail just want to show you Obviously sprung diaphragms on each end with lift lugs, accessory hoses, coupler cut levers, separately applied grab irons, rivet detail, the etch metal sides again on the vent all the way down. And same on this end as well. Both of these units are powered with sound. They are soundtrack tsunami sound on these units. Right, we'll check some functions here. Zero is the headlight. We heard the dynamic brakes because F4 was already applied, but Zero is a nice plain white headlight. It's not blue and tin or anything like that. When you turn it on and off, it has a nice fade effect. It doesn't just turn off and on. One is bell. Two is horn. short horn F4 dynamic brakes F6 handles the number boards that you can see are lit there so backlit number boards nicely done as well F7 is the dimmer, which dims the headlight. Also functions well. Probably catch that to the left of your screen. F8 is mute. F9 is brake squeal. F10 is coupler. There's brake squeal. 
So, there you have it. All the functions listed in the actual program. Let's uh, check how this operates at slow speeds. We'll go ahead and do a quick pull test here. Point eight ounces of pull. I could easily pull 90 car consist. So we're already towards the front of the layout for the where the camera is. We'll go backwards first. One speed step. Crawling pretty nicely, good tsunami soundtracks, or soundtrack tsunami control there. A little bit of alert. Two. Three. It's like all is smoothed out now. Four. And five. Go forward now. We'll hit mute. Very, very quiet motor. One speed steps very, very smooth and forward. A little bit of a tiny bit of lurch. Two. All smoothed out. Three. Four. And five. All right, so as you can tell, there's no motor noise whatsoever. Very good motor control. Now I'll check the B unit off camera for movement as well to save time. Then we will do a run by of this with the B unit in place. Just these two items because I really don't have any Baltimore and Ohio stuff to go with it. But I'm in the run by with the B unit. You will actually have both the sounds. They'll both be on address three. You can obviously change the addresses, you can change CVs, so that you can just have the A unit sound if you prefer, or you can run them together in a consist, have both sounds, you know, whatever you want. Sound of the B unit, sound of the A unit, but both of these are DCC and sound equipped. They also operate in DC. Well, that's going to do it for the Walders E9A and E8B combo here in the Baltimore and Ohio scheme. A very nice set of locomotives. Great runners, coupler height was good, was good, NMRA standards were in compliance, great pull test of almost 6 ounces, 5.8 ounces, and then you've got the sounds and the smooth operation that were great as well. I didn't see any problems with these locomotives, I think they'd be great for any B&O fan. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.